You ask me questions and I'll You ask the questions and I'll do that and then we get all that done. I actually grew up in uh, Detroit, Michigan. Oh, you know, yeah, you're right. You but don't I was, sound like a but man. I was stationed here in 1968 to 1970. I was uh, the assistant light keeper here for two years. That was, this has been my home out here on the island for two years. I got out of the Coast Guard in 1970. I actually met a cute little blonde here, and I was 20 years old. We've been married for 47 years now. The reason that I can do what I'm doing now Staying out here in the summertime as a keeper and bringing guests on is because I'm blessed with a wonderful wife. Everybody going ashore, go ashore. <laughs> and we're going to have pizza as soon as we get ashore. How old are you? 26. 26? Holy moly. What makes somebody want to dedicate themselves to a lighthouse? Because really, to some people, it might just seem like a building. But mm -hmm. clearly to you, it doesn't. No, no, you, it's something that speaks to you. For a lot of people, it's history. Some of it's their local heritage. Some people just love the notion of what lighthouses stood for, built to save lives. And that's a heritage worth keeping. We won't build these structures again. Nice. So we get one chance at Water being able to running. save not only a lighthouse, but all of its light station buildings. And I'll tell you, each time you come down, it still amazes you just like the first time. This one's special in terms of the different lighthouses that you oversee, right? Special in the sense that it's this charming island and really disconnected from land. We have a couple island sites, uh, but you can stay overnight at this one. And so there's a, there's a very um, cool seclusion, isolation about this that when you come out here, it's like, wow, we have this place to ourselves.